This is John for John Just Me. I'm here at the ballpark. I have the pleasure of having Megan Wiggins. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> you are good. I, I, you know, I want to talk to you about uh, your side business, but I'm going to get a couple softball questions out of the way first. Um, this season, you hit some major milestones. Mm -hmm. Has the impact of that, has it hit you yet, or do you think like later on, you know, off season, you know, kind of? Yeah, I mean, it, it, you know, they're cool milestones, and it just shows, you know, that I've been able to play in this league for as long as I have. This is my ninth season, so being able to, you know, accomplish those milestones, it, you know, is humbling and great, and having played with so many great players that were a part of, you know, me being able to get to these milestones is great, but, you know, then you have somebody like Kelly that's on my team, too, that just played in her 500th game, I think, and have 500 hits, whatever it is. So then, you know, that keeps me motivated to continue on to 500 and then, you know, keep going with different, you know, bigger milestones and stuff like that. So, so you are going to keep going. Oh, for sure. I'm not stop playing yeah. anything. We, so. like, we like to do that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so another question, um, when you were at Georgia, mm -hmm. you had a bobblehead. Mm -hmm. How cool is that to see yourself on a bobblehead? By the way, if anybody has that bobblehead, I'm, I'm dying to purchase one. Yeah. No, it's cool. It, it's cool to be able to have, you know, you go to school and then, you know, once you get out and they just kind of recognize you for what you did there and, you know, they keep up with your professional career. So it's really it's really humbling to have, you know, different awards like that and a bobblehead is pretty cool. I think Lou Harris has one. Christy Hamilton has one. Goler just got one. Goler got one. Um, I, think, I think that's it so far. Maybe. Um, company, yeah, it's fun. It's pretty cool, and you know, George has done done a lot of great things since we were there. So now to get to the fun stuff. Yeah. Now that's and softball's fun too. <laughs> but you have a side business. You have a very interesting side business. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about it and you know, how you got into that? Um, I don't know. I think my dad started it because he had his own little antique booth that he bought and sold all sorts of things, and um, I kind of just caught on after I got out of college. And I don't know. Now it's just fun to be creative and fun to, you know, turn something, somebody's trash into my treasure and then sell it um, and just see, you know, see different objects and see different, you know, old antique things that people don't really know what they are and then maybe, maybe make them functional that you can use in your house or just being able to be creative and then have people buy stuff that you, you know, made look good or made, you know, functional now. Um, it's cool. It's cool feeling. So like, how do you go about that? Do you, do, you, do you go to like garage sales to look for stuff or like just, you know, how do you find stuff? Yeah, I mean, it's like a whole other world. So I have like my softball world and I have like my antique world. So there's, you know, garage sales, you have estate sales, you just have antique shows where you'll go out and set up a tent. I have a tent where I set up and I do my own shows or I'll go to these shows and kind of buy and kind of find cool things, flea markets, all sorts of places. I mean, Really, you can find cool stuff anywhere. So. Well, I've seen your work, and it's yeah. it's really beautiful. That's yeah. why I wanted to talk about. It. Um, do you have Do you have a, a storefront? Um, yeah, I actually have a, a booth within like an antique store back mm -hmm. home um, that I have all year. I don't have to be there to kind of maintain it. That's the cool part about having your own booth in a store. Um, yeah, and I sell things year round. Well, let's give the name of your businesses. Um, well, my actual business name is Two Five Refine. So. Okay. I, and the whole name part of that was me being able to, you know, take something trash or, you know, something that's rusty and dirty and kind of refine it and make it pretty again and make, give it another life and, you know, make it functional and, you know, allow people to, to, to like, what you, like, like what you make and be able to buy it and they, then they can enjoy it for its new life, so. And where do people find out about it? That is in, that store is in Monroe, Georgia, so downtown Monroe. Um, it's like the antique capital of Georgia, so I'm in a good spot. But it's in Olive Branch Antiques in home decor. So, so people find Olive Branch Antiques on, on Facebook. On yeah, Facebook. you can find right. it on Facebook. Okay. Good to you. Yep, you right. can see some of my cool stuff. All right, well, we'll let you go. We know you had a okay. long day. We're looking forward to seeing you yes. guys in play. That's going to be a good play. Thank you. Any predictions? No, not yet. Smart girl. Really, it's been a, play. It's been a yes. pleasure following you. Thank you. And uh, thank you very much, man. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thanks.